NCAA officials will now allow college athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness. Now that means IU players can use their personal brands to make money. Ethan Burks has the story. It's not just those who played on the gridiron that can make a profit. Whether you play water polo, cross country, tennis, softball, you name it. All IU athletes can now make money. The rule change essentially ends amateurism in collegiate athletics. Companies, brands, boosters, and social media platforms now may compensate players. Let's say there was a dinner special at a restaurant. You could get an athlete to do an Instagram post talking about how great the food is at the restaurant and highlighting what the deal is on Tuesday. Gray says athletes may receive payments for events such as attending a kid's birthday party, company banquets, and even playing video games with fans online. There's also appearances. It could be uh, appearances at a business, autograph signing, that type of stuff in order to drive business into a, a storefront. And I think Bloomington's uniquely well positioned for that. Star quarterback Michael Penix Jr. is among the Hoosier athletes already taking advantage of the new rules. What's up everybody, it's Mike Penix here and I'm excited about the new NIL because it allows brands and fans to connect directly with me on Open Doors. Connect with me ASAP. Open Doors is a digital platform, an IU partner, which helps athletes monetize and protect their personal brands by charging people for different services. Starting at $200, Michael Penix will craft a personal tweet, Facebook post, or a video message for you, or maybe give a speech at your next corporate event. Gray says the company also creates interesting videos and photos in real time for athletes to use. For example, if a player on the men's basketball team hits a buzzer beater to win a big game, that content will be ready to go for social media. Before he walks off the court, he already has the celebration photo in his phone. He presses tweet, he goes viral. That builds his platform, makes him more attractive to endorsers. But it's important to remember the NCAA still does not allow players to earn a salary for playing a sport. Not to receive direct payments from the university. Schools cannot pay someone directly. They still cannot pay them for their performance on the field. Even the third party can't do that, but they can engage in these third, these third party arrangements. Emmert says the rules are a little different across the country, depending on which state you live in. The current policy has been left vague until Congress passes unified federal guidelines, which could take place as soon as this fall. It's experimental, and the only way that it's experimental is that later on they're gonna bring more clarity. This is not going away. What's also been left vague is how the NCAA will enforce these new rules without a federal set of guidelines. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ethan Burks.